Now, Singapore has executed a 46-year-old man convicted of drug trafficking. Tangaraju Supaya was found guilty of trafficking a single kilogram of cannabis five years ago. Campaigners had been hoping that he would be given a reprieve at the last minute. Live now to Singapore and our reporter Katie Silver. Um, Katie, Singapore has got some of the toughest anti-drug laws in the world. Um, do you think, I mean, there's been a huge amount of controversy around this case. Do you think it's likely that it might rethink those policies, given the furore, international furore, as a result of this case? So far, Victoria, that's seeming unlikely. They have defended their drug policy, saying that it's important. It's part of a multi-pronged approach to defending Singapore's uh, safety. They say it's about important as part of both safety and security. A bit of background about this case, though. As you say, it has reignited this debate because currently here in Singapore, those found guilty of drug trafficking are subject to mandatory uh, the mandatory death penalty. When it came to this case, it first happened back in 2013, is when uh, he was found guilty back in 2018. But it concerns an incident that occurred in 2013. So it's accu the accused, Mr. Sapaya, was accused of basically coordinating or masterminding a drug trafficking operation that, as you say, brought in one kilo or just over a kilo of cannabis from the ne nearby Malaysia, ne the northern neighbour Malaysia, into Singapore. It concerns two mobile phones that. Uh, the judges found Mr. Sapaya had coordinated the operation with. He denied having one of these and said that the other was his, but he had lost it. And there was lots of questions raised in the case when it came to particularly uh, whether or not he had adequate access to legal representation. The family said, for instance, that during the appeals process, he was not given adequate legal representation as well as an interpreter because it said that he spoke Tamil and not very strong English. And as a result, he's dealings with the police uh, weren't, he wasn't uh, fully informed. Now, as part of all this, we've seen, for example, multiple pleas for clemencies, as you mentioned, um, but these were denied. Singapore says that there was due process in all of this, but indeed, heavy criticism from the family, from activists. The United Nations, for its part, says that uh, the death penalty should only be used in very serious cases and that drugs offences do not qualify for this. The UN had indeed had called for a halt to this execution and human rights groups also coming out in um, against it. We heard, for example, from Human Rights Watch saying that it was far from clear cut since he never touched the marijuana, was questioned by police without a lawyer and denied access to a Tamil interpreter when he asked for one.